Hello, y'all. Peace and love. Um, once again, I hope this is a great connection. Um, we're wrapping up rainy season here in Costa Rica. So I hope this connection will remain intact. <laughs> but um, I'm going to wait a couple minutes for you guys to get in the room. I hope all is well. Um, it's a little breezy today. It's been raining a little bit. Um, if you can just give me like a thumbs up, make sure that this connection is okay. Um, I was just saying how it's wrapping up rainy season here in Costa Rica. So I just want to make sure you guys can still hear me and see me. So give me a thumbs up. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right. Well, I'm going to get started. So this is Stay Strong Soul Tribe. Thank you. Welcome. And there's a lot going on, right? I, I say this in every video because there is a lot going on. Like, um, cosmically, spiritually, we're all undergoing so many changes right now, y'all. Like, so many shifts are happening and taking place. Um, and shout outs to those who are in the path of Hurricane Florence, I think her name is. Um, welcome, welcome. Shout out to y'all who are in the path of the hurricane. I want y'all to be strong, okay? Um, there's a lot of things taking place. I, I have this intuitive knowing of what's going on and I also tap into other sources, other people, um, YouTube channels as well, just to make sure that, or just to connect with people, um, to, to align in a way, to make sure that what I'm receiving, you know, other people are receiving or am I the only one? You know, I, I like to connect in that way. And, um, you know, Mama Earth is shifting and changing, you guys. Shifting and changing. So there are going to be storms. There are going to be hurricanes. I heard tornadoes. Um, I know earthquakes here in Costa Rica. There has been earthquakes quite a bit. Little rumbles. Um, even last, I think it was last August as well, we had a couple earthquakes here in Costa Rica. And um, it's important for us to stay strong. And to be mindful of what's going on so that we won't dip into a fear state. You know, our fear is of a low frequency. So we want to make sure that we're vibing high. And, you know, I was speaking to my father yesterday. And we have a lot of family living in the south, right in the line of the hurricane. And before I even spoke with him, I did feel that there was a little anxiety and a little fear concerning this hurricane which is understandable right like it's it's nature nature's beautiful and unpredictable and and strong so you you're never sure but i do want to encourage you all to try not to be in fear once you kind of know what's going on it, it kind of gives you this sense of security right so just look at it for what it is you know, Mother Nature, M Mama Earth, Gaia, they're going through a change. We're not the only ones um, going through ascension here. Our Earth is going through ascension. The whole planet, all these beings, seen and unseen, they're ascending as well. And we have to be mindful of that. And we have to stay in our power. Okay? If you guys are watching and watching and or will watch later and you are in the path of the hurricane, I want to encourage you to be strong. Just know that things are shifting and changing. Um if you are one of the awakened here, you already kind of have a sense of what's going on and you can kind of quiet your family down and tell them, "You know what? It's okay. What will be will be. Everything is in divine alignment." Okay, every single thing has a divine assignment on this planet. And you have to just know that and be secure in that. As soon as you drop into that fear state, you're calling all these energies and entities and beings to you who are gravitating towards that lower frequency, who enjoy and thrive off of your fear and your low frequency. So it's important for you to stay vibing high. Um, I'm in a group here on Facebook called A Healthy Alternative. A Healthy Alternative. They're also on YouTube. 
like they are amazing i want you guys to follow them on facebook subscribe to them on youtube because they have a bunch of information on how to um, transform your body and how to stay in alignment and how to stay vibrating on a higher level and i'm part of that group and this this young lady made a post and showing how the whole bread aisle was empty and it was kind of funny not funny it was a little sad too but it was kind of funny because it's like why is the bread aisle empty you know what i mean it's like what do you need the bread for and she was saying how you know since she has all this practice fasting that she's not even worried about the storm like it's like okay she knows that she could fast a certain number of days and that she can push through um so i mentioned that to, to tell you guys that the times that we are in there's going to be a lot of changes geographically and, and concerning weather and things like that and you're going to want to be strong within yourself um practicing fasting is an excellent way excellent way to keep your vibrations high and also to to feel secure within your emotions to connect spiritually to make sure that if there is a shortage of food you know you're not gonna like drop dead like real talk because you've been practicing this fasting hey welcome y'all who just joined in um you've been practicing 24 hour 48 hour 72 hour fast you've been fasting for seven and ten days on a regular every month or every other month so i, I say that um just so in case there is some sort of uh, devastation or catastrophe in that way you can you can sustain yourself teach your children the same thing do intermittent fasting like fasting has changed my life so i want i want to encourage you guys to do that um and again stay in high vibrations stay in high vibrations if you could get a hold of you know fruit and clean water and vegetables make sure that you excuse me mm, make sure you take those in more than any other food that you take in so so it could keep your emotions clear keep you regulated a certain way you could receive messages okay um and it's ascension time you guys it's been ascension time for a long time but things are accelerated right now um so i want you guys to be strong i really really do i feel i feel it like there's so many people in the collective who are scared and they feel alone and they don't know what's going on you know a lot of us we experience these energies and we don't really have anyone telling us that oh this is this this is why this is happening and the news oh my god don't even if you can help it don't even watch the news okay i know there's a storm going on you kind of want to tap in or if you have radios tap in in that way but try to stay off the news because they will make you believe that what's going on is something completely different or they'll try to distract you right like i think there's like a cardi b and Nicki minaj fight like who gives a fuck like that is just a distraction it's something to distract you they don't want you to realize that if you get out of that frequency that your ascension is like this like there are energies and beautiful beautiful beings there are there's this your galactic family that's trying to contact you and help you so the more you unplug from things the better off you are the more clear you are you won't get into this fear state you won't you won't pay attention to all the bullshit that's on social media because it's a lot of bullshit okay there's a lot of truth there's a lot of love and peace on social media but there's also a lot more bullshit so make sure you're censoring yourself pay attention to what you pay attention to um so that you're clear so that you're always clear um so yeah i was saying um stay away from the news as much as you possibly can they want you to believe that there's all this stuff going on right they bombard us with police brutality and black and white and and martial law and all this shit like really it doesn't it doesn't matter what they're not telling you is that there are beautiful beautiful energies and beings and and aliens and entities all around us and on our planet trying to help us the news is not gonna tell you that they're not gonna say that because as soon as they say that it's like you're gonna wake up you you're unplugged right from the matrix and you're in you can now that you know that they're there you can tap into these energies and you can tap into these beings who want to help you 
So, so make sure you're mindful of what you're putting in, in your vision and in your mind, okay? I want to encourage y'all to stay strong in that way. Um, I know from talking to people online and also from what I'm receiving, my messages I'm receiving, that a lot of people feel a lot of anxiety right now. Like a lot of people are experiencing anxiety. Hey, welcome, welcome. Thank y'all for joining me. Um, and they don't know why. They, a lot of people are really psychic and empathic and clairvoyant and you're taking in these energies and you don't quite know what's going on. You think you're just scared or like scared of what's going on or you might have indigestion. You might just think <laughs> you have upset stomach, but no, no. Okay, your gifts are popping right now. They're popping off. Like these energies are trying to contact you right now. That's that's what you feel, that anxiety inside of you. You can also feel this spiritual war that's going on right now. Like, you know, we hear that growing up, right? Especially those of us who grew up in the church that there's spiritual warfare going on. There's, you know, good versus evil, but legit. <laughs> there's a spiritual war going on. And a lot of us who are experiencing that anxiety, that's what we're feeling, okay? And it's important for you to ground yourself. I cannot say this enough. I think I say this in every one of my videos. I'll never stop saying this because it's, it's highly valuable. Make sure you're grounding yourself barefoot to the dirt, barefoot on the grass, okay? Make sure you're getting fresh air. Make sure you're going for walks. Make sure you're exercising, drinking water, eating your fruits, the high, highest vibrational foods, so that you can be clear. Truly, that's truly it. You want to be clear. Um, I said this in my video yesterday, Ascension and Raw Foods, that Raw Foods has helped me exponentially with my gifts, with psychic clairvoyance, um, empathic. I can hear, see, and feel things like, like, boom like even right now i'm feeling stuff so i want you guys to get clear as soon as you get clear i want you to shine that light i want you to open your mouth and tell people what you have experienced do not be afraid now is not the time to be scared now is the time to step into our power things are shifting tides are turning we are winning this spiritual war we've already won it you might as well just get with it <laughs> and shine your light and let people know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Share share a fruit salad or something. <laughs> share some love with people. Hey, peace and love. Thank you for coming in. Um, share love with people. It's so necessary right now. Um, if you see someone online, especially, and you see them struggling and you feel compelled to reach out to them, reach out to them. Hey, peace and love. Reach out to them. Show them love. Like, I received so many messages from people online and I'm so grateful for them because it's giving me opportunity to connect. To connect, it's all about connection right now. It's all about showing love right now. It's important that you do that. There, there are these energies and entities that want you to stay low. They need you to stay low because then they can feed off of you, okay? If you're vibing high and you're, and you're living through your heart chakra and you're showing love and compassion everywhere, they can't feed off of you. What they gonna do with that? You know what I mean? They thrive in the fear state. They thrive in anger. They thrive in low vibrational energies. So you want to make sure you stay up, 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 all the way up. Who did I get that from? Jesus Power. Follow Jesus Power, y'all. She the truth. <laughs> Side note, follow her. She the truth here on Facebook. She got that fire. She She's serious with it. And she always say we going up, up, up. And that's absolutely right. We are. Believe it. Believe it okay don't be afraid so yeah anything that you learn anything that you come across share it with other people shine your light don't be scared i want you guys to stay strong out here a lot of y'all are feeling like you want to move that's that's another um ascension symptom maybe not symptom but that's another thing about ascension if you feel compelled that you want to leave a certain thing or stop doing a certain thing or end a certain relationship with somebody whether it's romantic or platonic or whatever do that it's your soul it's your higher self telling you that you need to do that for your soul's growth and your soul's development and especially now you know with with mama gaia shifting the way she is we're being compelled to switch locations and that is not for you to be afraid that's just for you to stand in your power and be like oh well what i felt was right you know tap into your spirit guides 
um, contact your ancestors, your ascended masters, um, tap into nature, and, and make sure that these messages that you're receiving are in alignment with your soul's purpose. Um, I hope that connection stays. It looks like it's going in and out, y'all. But, um, but yeah, you know, I want you guys to really stay tapped in. I want you guys to be fearless out here. Be fearless, my beautiful soul family. Like, you're so powerful and so strong. That's why a lot of us go through so much in our life. Because we are so powerful. That there are beings and energies that do every single thing that they can to keep us down. Because soon as we break loose, it's the end for them. It's a wrap. They gotta go. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And like I said, the news is not gonna tell you that. The news is not gonna tell you these hurricanes are because... Mama Earth is fucking tired. <laughs> They're not going to tell you it's because Mama Earth got to ascend too. She has to shift and change too. They're not going to tell you that. Okay? They're not going to tell you that the energies that you are feeling is because you are being awakened. You're being shaken up. You're being purged. You're being cleansed so that you could reach your highest level of divinity. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you, oh, you're bipolar. Oh, you're depressed. Here, take, take this medication. You'll be all right. Like, uh, oh, a glass of wine every night. You know, they say that even though I, I like a little red wine. I like a little like a little joint too every now and then, okay? But they'll make it seem like there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? Most of us are just so tapped into the ether. We're so tapped into the spiritual world that, you know, it manifests in different ways because we don't understand it. But once you understand what's going on it's like oh <laughs> like you mean i had the power this whole time <laughs> like you mean i was just tapping into my galactic family this whole time i wasn't bipolar i wasn't crazy yes baby yes the news that your doctors are not going to tell you that i'm here to tell you that there's other people other beautiful souls of oh my god so many amazing light workers out here that are here to tell you that that, that you're not crazy, that you're not insane. And, and, and you know, I want to encourage y'all to be strong and know that, you know, trust yourself, trust your intuition. Um, I'm not trying to be up here long. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to hop up here and say that. I want to also say thank you for the people who reach out to me and the people who have made themselves available for me to reach out to. I love y'all like straight up because this is what it's about. It's about peace, love, unity, balance, harmony. Like these sound like some lofty concepts, right? It sounds like some, you know, Disney movie shit. But nah, like real talk. These things are requirements. There are requirements for our ascension, for a smooth ascension. All right? So continue to spread love. Continue to shine your light. Whatever your craft is, make sure you do that. Make sure you stay strong. Again, from my people who are in the line of the hurricane, I send you so much love and peace and abundance. And please don't worry. Try not to be afraid, okay? I know it can be difficult. I know it can. But try to ground yourself. Say to say secure yourself. Know that no matter what, everything is according to plan. It's according to divine assignment. And that you'll be okay. You'll be okay, all right? That's all I wanted to say to y'all. I love y'all. Peace and love.